All right, this video is going to show you how to kind of add a photo carousel. If you have a whole bunch of uh, pictures or you have artwork um, from students that you want to put into kind of a, a scrolling photo thing, um, we can actually use Google Slides and add on to do this and embed it into our Canvas page. So I'm on a Canvas page here, and the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and make a new page. Pages, click View All Pages, click Plus Page. And I'll make some kind of a page title here. I'm going to do um, embedded photo carousel. Doesn't matter what it's called there. Okay, and um, I'll go ahead and click save. And I'll click edit. And basically, I need to embed some code here. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to go out to my Google Drive. So go out to your Google Drive and you should have just a, a folder of pictures. Get some kind of a folder of uh, PNGs or JPEGs or something that you have in your Google Drive. I have a folder here called Turtles. They're not actually Turtles, but Turtles is something we use in Python to draw different pieces of artwork. And so these are a whole bunch of students' different, different things here. So I'm going to uh, click New and I'm going to make a Google Slides. Okay. And once you're in Google Slides, I'm going to come up to Add-ons, and I'm going to go down to Photo to Slides, Photos to Slides, and I'm going to select Photos. And that's going to ask me to do some things here. It needs permissions to run. So I'm going to click Continue, select my account, and go down and allow it to steal all your bank account information. Just kidding. Now I think I have to go back, Add-ons. I think i got to do this again. Photo to slides, select photos, and now it's going to import images from photos or drive to slides. So you can, um, you can go to your photos and get some, drive folder, I'm going to click in there, I'll click the turtles, I'll click select. Close that up. Click this first slide and delete it. Okay. So I got a lot of images coming in here. Okay. So it only allows 50 images. So I had a whole bunch more images than that in that uh, thing, but it's only going to allow you to put in up to 50 uh, pieces of artwork. So I'm going to go ahead and change this to uh, Turtle Slideshow. Okay. So all it did really is it put a photo on every single slide in the thing. That's, that's about it. Okay. So what we need to do, though, is we're going to come up and we're going to click Share. And we're just going to change it to um, anyone with the link. We'll click Done on that. You don't even need the link. We're going to come up here now to File. And we're going to go to um, Publish to the Web. Publish to the Web. So we're going to do that. And we're going to click on Embed. And we have some choices here. We can do a medium size, small, I'll just keep it on medium. Auto advanced slides. So you can do every second or every minute or every three seconds. I'm going to go ahead and let it, I'm going to keep it at default. Every three seconds, the slides will just switch. Um, should I start the slideshow as soon as the player loads? Yeah, I'm going to do that. Restart the slideshow after the last slide? Yes, I'll do that. So it'll just be on kind of a, a cycle. So I'm going to click Publish. Are you sure you want to publish this selection? OK. And so it's going to give me some code. And I need to copy that, Command-C to copy that code. And I'll close this out. And I'm going to go back to my Canvas page. That's all I need on the Google Slides. So I'm going to go back to my um, page. And on here, I'm going to click this little icon right down here, which is, takes me into the HTML editor. So I'll click that, and I'll just paste the code in. If you look at this code, it's not as hard as it looks. It's an iframe. Basically, it puts a frame in the picture and embeds this thing in there. SRC stands for source, and that's the URL to uh, where that thing is. There's a couple parameters in here. Start equals true, because it's going to start right from the beginning. Loop equals true, because it's going to loop around. Uh, there's a delay in milliseconds. 3,000 milliseconds is three seconds until it goes to the next thing. So these are all little parameters. You could actually change them right in here if you wanted. Um, there's some a width and a height of the frame. So you can come in here and change kind of the width and the height of that if you'd like to do that also. 
Okay, so it's all good right there. And if I just come down and click Save, there we have it. If you wait three seconds, it's just gonna scroll through these things. And so now you have an embedded photo carousel. Just to show you, if you come back in and edit and you hit the code again, and let's just change this to like 300 by 200 and come down and click Save again. Now you have a, a little smaller photo thing. So it kind of depends on how big you want to do this. You might have several slideshows running on here or something. So that's how you can do an embedded carousel in your Canvas page.